hey there guys and today we're going to be covering some kind of stuff like this which is the parallax background and the tile sets stuff we're going to be doing all this in this tutorial timestamps will be in the description below and see you in the tutorial so we're going to start off with the tile map okay so as usual i've imported my tile here um where is it s tiles and this is the tile set we're going to use so um, for further explanation, I think you should go to my other video. I'm going to leave a card up here right now. Or you can go to the description and there will be a link there. To where I will teach you how to use auto tiles and how to make auto tiles. So before that, I just want to give you a brief explanation of what I want to do. So I'm going to click this um, tile map and click my tile set here. This will pop up and click this plus button. And from here, we're going to click our tile sets. Here is it, S tiles. We're going to open it up there. So what we want to do is over here, we'll go to new auto tile. We're going to click that. And automatically, this snap option should be enabled. But if it's not, if yours is looking like this, just enable it. And we're going to click this first tile. And we're going to drag over all our tiles here in the tile set. So this is trying to tell you that, OK, this is the region where we want to get our tiles from. So over here, we go to um, the inspector panel here, and you see selected tile. You go down where you see auto tile bit mask. Um, I can't, um, my monitor is very small. I can't um, enlarge this. So you see here auto tile bit mask, and we're going to change it to a three by three minimum. And that's just so that when we are doing our bit masking, it's going to be easy for us. So um, in the tile sets, what essentially this bit mask is going to do, we're going to go back to bit mask. What this is going to do is, it's going to tell you when it's going to place each tile. So for this first one, as you can see, I'm going to place it all over here. Okay, so I'm going to place the bit mask all, all over there. I'm just going to zoom in so that I can show you what I mean. So this is, going, this is trying to tell it that we're only going to place this tile when there is one at the top, okay, when there is a tile at the top, tile at the right, tile at the left, and tile all over around it except for here, okay. So that's the only time we're going to place this tile. And for this other one, we're just going to do something similar. So whenever we're going to pl pl place this tile is when there is one at the left, one diagonally opposite, and all these other places except for this place. I hope you understand what I mean. Let me just take you to another example. For example, this tile. As you can see, it's a lone tile, so um, I'm just going to keep it in the middle. So the only time I want to place this tile is when it's alone. So there is not one at the left, right, center, or wherever. It is only a lone tile, and that's where we're going to keep this. So that's like pretty much the basic explanation of this tile set stuff. Um, let me just give you another example, like this one. Um, we're going to place this one when there is a tile at the top, bottom, left, right, and the two diagonals except for these two up parts okay um that's pretty much what you need to know about this tile set if you want further explanation you can go ahead to my channel um, to my other video as i said i'll leave it as a link in the description so this the, this this kind of tile now is going to be placed where there is everything around it so this is going to be like the embedded um dirt in all the tiles and stuff like that so it's going to be only be placed when there are tiles all around it. And that's just the simple mechanism after it. So I'm just going to go ahead, pause the video and do this and complete everything. I'm sorry what I forgot to tell you was if you want to put a bit mask, you use the left click. And if you want to get rid of it, just use the right click there. And that's going to work nicely. So I'm done with my tile set. and I'm done with um, putting on my bit mask. So if you're using my exact same tile set, I just want you to pause the video right now and go ahead and copy everything you see. Um, and just so I can know what I did was right, I'm going to go back to priority and I'm going to click each tile. So if I click a tile, if the tile has more than, if more than one tile has that bit mask, it's going to show me one out of two or one out of how many tiles that have the bit mask. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to click through everything to see if I get a one over one um, in all okay so this actually this style set doesn't have any repeated um, tiles so 
I have to get a one over one over everything. So yeah, I'm good to go. So um, we'll go back to icon. So the default icon we're going to use is this one. And what exactly this icon is doing is, for example, if I put it at this one, it's not really that significant. Uh, if I see um, my tile set here, I'm going to click it. And this is the icon that is going to use. That's all. So if you go back here and you choose the icon to be this one, I'm going to just choose this one because that's the default tile. So if you choose it to be that one, that icon there is going to change and everything. So yeah, I think that should be it for a bit mask and priority and icon. The next thing is this collision. So this is actually the hard part. As I said in my other video, this is going to be somehow stressful to everybody because you have to manually click each cell and click the um, collision shape. So the shape here we're going to use is a square. So we're going to click each cell. When you click a cell, click this cell and click on the next one. So that's how it's going to work and we're going to do it throughout everything. So note that I'm going to click, select the tile, click this and double click on the next one so that I can automatically put that one there and focus on this one. Just a very fast and easy way to work with this. So I'm done with that and yeah. I just want to get rid of this world of PNG because we don't need it anymore. But anyways, I'm not going to do that now. So when we go to our tile set, as you can see, the icon has changed. And I'm, again, sorry for not covering that bit mask up stuff. I don't just want this tutorial to be super long. So what I'm going to do is just place it like a normal tile set. And you see that it's going to auto tile itself. And if I just use Control shift drag it's going to fix up everything the way it's meant to be for some reason this is wrong i don't know why i think it's a problem with my auto tab bit masking and stuff so i'm just i'm going to fix that in a second oh yeah and the reason for that is because i just mistakenly um unselected this button here so <laughs> you're meant to select that sorry and we'll go back to the time map i'm just gonna fix i'm just gonna delete everything there and just fix it up again and it works nicely so i'm just gonna go fast finish up everything so yeah i'm done with that go back to our tile sets and we can delete this wall so happy new year we're done with our tile sets and that's all we need to do so today again the um the other topic i wanted to cover was the parallax the parallax scrolling background and stuff so again i'm just going to quickly go and extend this my tile map so that we can have um, a place to actually go and basically we're done with my i'm done with my um map generation i don't know I'm, i suck at making maps so now for the um, parallax background what we're going to do is we're going to add some nodes to this so the first node we're going to add is a canvas layer we're just going to rename this bg um the next node is a parallax layer parallax layer oh, sorry parallax background sorry and the next one is a parallax layer and a sprite at the end so all these uh it is um how the node tree is meant to look like if you want to do something like this and as you can see i have my s trees here and my s mountain so i'm actually going to duplicate this parallax layer i'm just going to name this one mountain and name this one trees so for the sprites for the mountains normals i'm going to drag in this and for the sprites for the trees i'm going to drag in this and over here for the sprites you're going to see that center this on so we're going to select these two sprites so that we can just do it at once we're going to select the two sprites go to offset and click centered off so it's going to align itself with the viewports here and the origin so the size for this the scale that x is 1.6 um i've already done this before so i actually know so i think this one will be 1.2 or so yeah i got that nicely and the mountings is also the same thing and scale 1.6 and this should be a 1.2 or 3 something like that 1.3 just for 
so yeah i'm done with that next thing is this parallax layer i want to select the two of them at the same time so that i can edit the two of them and here over at mirroring you're going to see an x and y value here we're going to give it the size of our viewport in the x value which is 1024 and as you can see it somehow replicates itself and ends here it's not actually going to end here when we are moving with the camera it's going to continue like that um just in the viewport is when it ends here and stuff just so that you can know what you're doing and for the wire, we're not going to give it anything. And we're going to select the mountains and manipulate the scale X value. So here we're going to give it a 0 0.5. And over the trees, we're going to leave it as a 1. The reason why we're changing this to 0 0.5 is so that as we're scrolling, it will look like the mountains are farther because they'll be scrolling slower than the trees. So the trees, um, since it has an X scale of 1, is going to scroll somehow faster and the mountains is going to scroll slower just to give us that further and um, closer effect and stuff like that. So that's all for this. I think I should be good or we should be good. So we're done. Everything works nicely. The scrolling effect is nice. And as you can see, the trees are actually scrolling faster than the mountains, which is really cool. So that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Again, if you want to support me, you can go over to the link in the description below and my patreon page is over there you can support me with a dollar or so <laughs> thanks if you do that and i'll shout you out in my videos thanks for watching see you guys next time again and smash subscribe and goodbye